Hello, dear friends. This is news of Kazan Federal University. My name is Olga Danilova. Welcome. Economy, energy, ecology. These three simple words that hit very complex problems that treat with welfare of humanity and with its existence. In 23rd century, we start to think more about ecology. From the page of various scientific journals, they warn us about ecological crisis. Various green organizations raise the alarm. In addition, pessimists look for new planets to live. On the contrary, scientists of Kazan Federal University make every effort to stop the ecological apocalypse. In the 21st century, the number of global environmental problems increases rapidly. Formation of ozone hole, human population growth, scarcity of fresh water, the greenhouse effect, the disappearance of some species of animals and plants, marine and soil pollution are just few environmental problems that require immediate solution. Moreover, the sooner steps are taken, the greater chances of humanity will be. Realizing this, Homo sapiens stepped up all their resources and knowledge to resist some environmental threats. Kazan Federal University doesn't remain from solving some such global puzzle. In addition to fundamental research in the field of ecology and nature here for several years, there are two innovative enterprises whose activities are related to environmental protection. At first we think that uh, environmental problems concern everyone and of course the interest of the production like this will only raise in the future. And second, of course, we have to base on our own um, experience and knowledge and we are specialists in this area we have a lot of publications patents and of course we can base on this and earn money on the on the uh, subjects that we know very well the uniqueness of innovative enterprises is that undergraduate and graduate students of the Institute of Ecology and Geography are working here together with PhDs. Despite their age, many of them participated in international conferences, had articles in major scientific journals, and they are full of ideas. By the way, realization of this scientific potential is based on innovative enterprises of university. For example, in Kazan University Ecology, young scientists develop methods for assessing the waste and material hazard, monitor the environment, and create disposal technology of hazard organics waste. At present, the enterprise is working on improving the methods of microbial contact biotesting. This technique is unique in the world and is part of the set of the evaluation of toxin and hazard class waste, substances and materials, solid toxic test. This scientific research of scientists of Kazan Federal University is most relevant today. Their clients are Tatarsan and Russian leading industrial enterprises. Our test set is quite simple to use. Here is everything you need from the toxicity testing environmental technology and ending with all reagents and even tubes to make research. Possession of any skills is not necessary. An employee of the company can make this test. Another well-known research of young scientists of Kazan Federal University is technology of biorecycling industrial and household waste harmful to the environment. It is situated in another innovative enterprise of Kazan Federal University, environmental innovation. Company name speaks for itself. Non-standard methods are used here to solve environmental issues. So, for example, various microorganisms are used in recycling household and industrial waste. They are selected individually for each case. Those hazard properties of the waste are minimized and some of them have second life. We we don't just neutralize hazardous waste. Aerobic and anaerobic technologies are used during recycling. Using them after processing, we can obtain not only waste with minimum hazard level, but also commercial products such as compost and biogas. Our young scientists are very modest. They don't much talk about their research because they refer to the fact that it has only local application. But as they say in the well-known proverb, if you want to change the world, start with yourself. The beginning of the year for Russian students is always associated with winter session and long-awaited holidays, but the university life is full of interesting events. About the brightest events of the first month of 2014, we will tell you in our news kaleidoscope. 18 ambassadors of African countries visited Kazan Federal University. The delegation arrived in Kazan to discuss training of highly qualified staff in Kazan Federal University for Africa. To do this, the guests met with the leaders of the university as well as see its infrastructure and logistics base. During the meeting, there was reached an agreement on the establishment of the African Studies Center in Kazan Federal University. Scientists and experts from African countries will work in this center. The visit was ended with countrymen students meeting. I was very, very impressed by the number of African students in your university. This is the proof of uh, the good relation between Russia and Africa. 
So, uh, for me, I think that uh, after discover what we saw at this university, for us now is a challenge to send more students here. This year, Kazan Federal University will be even more attractive for foreign students. Since September 2014, some disciplines will be in English. First of all, it involves subjects of natural science profile. Another innovation will facilitate the learning process for students. All lectures given at the university will be available to everyone on the Internet. Analog of the Open Courseware project will work in full force at the beginning of the next year. Now it is realized on the basis of two universities' units, the Institute of Physics and the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology. At the first meeting of the International Scientific Council of Kazan Federal University, it was talked about the necessity of the university's internalization. This advisory body was created last year for more effective realization of the development of Kazan Federal University until 2020. Leading scientists and experts became its members. Some of them couldn't arrive in Kazan, but it didn't prevent them to participate in the discussion of the prospects and the development of science in the university. The president of RIKEN, Japan's largest research center, Rose Nori, spoke with participants via video. The Nobel Prize as we congratulated with successful defense of the roadmaps. I've seen you are shaping a very good um, research profile into several priority areas, which is very important. But um, also, I mean, your university education and teaching is very important. And if you look into the key, I mean, uh, main global players, very famous universities like Harvard, MIT, Oxford and so on, also the I mean, teaching reputation is very important. So. I collaborate with Kazan University for three years and the progress that is made during this time is impressive. January is very impressive for students because they celebrate their favorite holiday, Students' Day. This year wasn't an exception. Students were onlookers at a bright show with bright events. They visited the show with the participation of the city's best dance teams and the university's pride, the participant of Eurovision 2013, Dina Garipova. Students of Kazan Federal University get fun and loud applause not only in alma mater. January 25th, the annual Student Award Student of the Year 2013 took place in the one of the most dynamic regions of Russia in Tatarstan. Who celebrated their success and what was memorable on the award ceremony? Let's watch the next story. Annual Student Award Student of the Year is one of the most magnificent events in the life of every Russian university. For nearly six months, the best of the best representatives of universities proved their superiority with thirst in their home universities, and only after that they achieved the super final. This year, 77 participants achieved final and passed the decisive stage. All they could not just steal the holiday atmosphere, but became real stars, which will be example for other students of our republic. These young people make me not just delighted, I'm proud that we have such a wonderful student, talented, smart, and most importantly active. Sure, we can rely on them. Worthy replacement is growing. Those who came to support their friends and colleagues could also enjoy the holiday. Long before the ceremony, the organizers set a goal to make unusual ceremony. We can honestly say that they had success. Performances of popular music and dance group helped viewers not only bright up the waiting breaks, but gave them a lot of bright emotions and impressions. The author to host the final Russian Award Student of the Year in Kazan was supported by a lot of applause. According to the organizers, students of Tatarstan are deserved it. Certainly it's a pleasure staying here because it's a great event today that we've seen on this stage because all the best students all over the Republic of Tatarstan were here and they were mentioned because the the great the great effort that they make is uh, is something great and I think that this kind of uh, prizes they should pass very often in our Republic in, in Kazan because people should know that they can show their best here and uh, there are many people uh, looking and trying bringing up and making them better. 
This year's ceremony of finalists was a real triumph for the Kazan Federal University. Its students were the best in several categories and the overall winner and winner of the Grand Prix award was a fifth-year student of Kazan Federal University, Ildar Khuzyatov. The secret of success he described briefly. Work on yourself. By the way, Ildar will be able to continue education at any university of the world. The president of Tatarstan Republic, Rustam Minikanov, personally handed him certificate for education. But this was not all. The jury decided that Kazan Federal University also won the Grand Prix in category Best University. I want to say that this victory is not only our achievement, but achievement of all leadership of the Republic. Because without the support that it was provided to us, we couldn't achieve such success in all areas, in science, sport and students' life. Besides the main winners in the nomination, some students were awarded a special prize. All of them were not only winners and prize winners, but also leaving proof that students of Tatarstan Republic are one of the most beautiful, intelligent, talented and bright. That was all for today. My name is Olga Danilova. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.